Hey guys, uh, in this video we are going to look at uh, how to connect uh, a, a very simple Node.js project with uh, MySQL database. So first of all, we are going to you know create a very basic Node.js uh, project and, and then we are going to create a, a very simple database and next we are going to connect both of these. So uh, for this, first of all, you need to have uh, Node.js installed on your system. So in case you don't have it already installed, you just need to navigate to this uh, link, nodejs.org, and uh, slash, uh, and you know, just install a data uh, a Node.js version according to your computer specifications. Uh, and then next, after you have it installed on your system, uh, you need to uh, open a command prompt and uh, just write npm init give uh, a name to your node.js app i'm gonna name node app yep version okay okay yes keep pressing enter test command get author yes okay so Next, we are going to run a few more commands remaining in this directory. Uh, install. We are going to install Express. That's just a framework uh, which you know add, adds more functionality and creates um, you know an ease for you to use Node.js. Next, we are also going to install another package called MySQL. Okay, that's done. Uh, we have added two, pro uh, two packages, MySQL and Express. So let's open VS Code. And uh, next, we are going to create a basic uh, file called index.js that's going to contain some of our very basic server configurations so we are going to you know import express similarly we are going to have my sequel here as well SQL. then we go to right instantiate express and uh, next what we are going to do is that we are going to tell the node.js project to listen on port 3000 I can say I'm just going to add a log here app listening Three thousand. It's wrong here. Oops, I missed the CAP. Yep. Okay, so next, let's first of all just start this node index. .js. App is listing on port 30. So right now we had it, we haven't added any routes to our app. So let's add a very simple basic home route. So requests and response. And uh, we are going to just you know write anything here. So now, if we write and we navigate to our browser, 
localhost colon 3000 yep we have it so next we are going to you know write a few configurations for our mysql uh, so let's write database.js um, variable mysql require mysql and then next we are going to uh, establish a connection with our mysql server so we're going to write this mysql dot create connection and uh, we are going to pass in a few properties uh, it's going to be host it's going to be the database name it's going to be the user and password okay so usually uh, some of you guys when installed uh, mysql server on your systems you just uh, give it your username and it's by default running on a port called uh, 3306 so uh, we don't actually need to even mention here the port so according to your uh, own you know system uh, according to your own uh, configurations of mysql server on your system you are going to you know give uh, these properties so for example for me it's localhost and uh, i'll create a db in, dry, in just a minute and uh, it's root and the password is also called root so for example i am having my sql workbench installed on my system so i'm going to open that and uh, i'm going to you know just quickly create a database create database and flies underscore database so i'm gonna run that query refresh and here we have it next i'm going to create a table also at the same time employee underscore info let's just name it and uh, it's going to have a db that's going to be auto incremented employee is going to have a name and also let's add a job title just creating a very simple uh, table here Dot sales. okay so we have our table here and uh, at the same time i'm going to insert a few rows so anything just john doe software architect for example he's a cool guy uh sarah uh whatever designer and con software developer for instance just to you know have some data in our database so okay now navigating back to our node.js project root root database our name i gave the database name employee underscore database or employee okay so next <coughs> we are going to write another log here just to you know uh, get a confirmation on whether our database was connected or <coughs> sorry for that guys not so for example we have it here we can omit this line oh by the way i haven't exported this connection exports uh, yep, connection brain just blocks 
connection dot connect if there is an error you know just throw that error otherwise just tell me the databases connected okay so once again yep the database is connector super good okay so next uh, let's write a QE uh, on this database and fetch all the employees and uh, that we have created here and uh, show it uh, in the browser for example so let's do it like uh, how we are going to do it uh, first of all we are going to write a QE uh, like this select steric from what employee what was our table name employee underscore info and uh, we are going to use this connection dot it's going to return a callback after this query is done uh, for example running if there's an error it's going to give an error and if it worked okay it's going to give us all the results so what we are going to do here there is an error else we are going to copy this line here and write like this so we have just uh, you know uh, added a query here to fetch all the employees from our database which we have just created so what this is going to do is going to uh, you know run this query on our database and um, fetch all those three employees and uh, show them in the browser so let's restart our server <coughs> and go in the, yep we have them all here so it was very simple guys uh, you can go ahead and write some more queries or or it on or it on it and uh, you know modify according to your own needs according to your own ideas and according to your own project so this is it guys uh, and if you have any questions write them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe because that's what's going to motivate me in order to make more videos so I'll see you in the next one